Those at an elderly home hosting Pope Francis next week have described the occasion as a blessing and an honour. Excitement has filled the air at St. Teresa's home as over 200 staff and seniors get set to meet the 87-year-old head of state. Now, he'll be in Singapore for three days starting Wednesday. Richard Matthew has more. I'm very, very happy and very, very excited. I counted the day, day by day, one at a time. <laughs> Everybody's looking forward to the Friday the 13th. Residents and staff here are in high spirits as they look forward to the papal visit. For these two friends, it's another opportunity not to be missed to get up close with the head of the Catholic Church. Bertha Heng was among the tens of thousands who braved the rain when a pope last visited in 1986. She remembers it like it was yesterday. Last time we went to the stadium, but it was too crowded. You cannot see from far. <laughs> Here better, you can see more. You are closer to uh, Pope Francis, you can see. Bridget also came very close before. Who can see the Pope? <laughs> Unless you go to the Vatican in a wheelchair, we cannot go. Away. But I went, I went to Vatican, but I didn't see the Pope. It's also double celebrations for Miss Ng. She turns 96 the day before the Pope's visit. The home also has non-Catholic residents, some equally eager to meet Pope Francis. On my part, I am very excited that whether I could get a chance to at least say a few words with him. It's all hands on deck for the staff and management ahead of the occasion. For example, pews in the chapel have been removed to house up to 100 elderly people in wheelchairs. Security arrangements are in full swing. However, for some, it's not just the physical preparations. How do we prepare ourselves spiritually for his coming? And what does it mean to us when he has left? How does it actually enlighten our own spiritual faith? Residents from St. Joseph's and Villa Francis homes will also join those here for the occasion.